Hello, everyone. My name is Steven. A new round of the Prairie Math League has taken place, and I have volunteers to make video solutions for them. I hope you enjoy their video. Round 115, question 5. Which expression fills the blank? So, for question 5, we have this expression here, or well, this equation, which is the sum of the series k multiplied by k factorial is equal to blank factorial minus 1. Given to us are 5 answers for what fits in the blank. k squared, n plus 1, 2n, n squared, and n. This is the process for solving the equation. So first of all, we have the, uh, the left-hand side of the original equation here. The series sum of k times k factorial. And here, we have changed the, this k into k plus 1 minus 1. And from this point, we use the distributive property in order to change this into k plus 1 times k factorial minus k factorial, the series sum of all of, of this expression. So then we turn this into the series sum of k plus 1 factorial minus k factorial, which is equal in expanded form to this massive series. So we have 2 factorial minus 1 factorial plus 3 factorial minus 2 factorial, on and on and on until we get n plus 1 factorial minus n factorial. And in this, we can actually start canceling out most of the sequence in here. So we can take out these two, these, and this, until eventually we are left with only n plus 1 factorial and minus 1 factorial, in which we have this. Which, if you recall in the original thing, we have had this, and in this blank fits n plus 1 factorial, because in here, this is n plus 1. Round 115, question 6. Given the ratios of the diagonals of a rhombus is 4 to 3, and a diagonal is 6 centimeters long, which one might be the perimeter of this rhombus? 40, 14, 28, or 15, or none of the above? This is the process for question 6. And this is the figure for the shape for the rhombus. Now, a rhombus has four sides, all of which are equal length, and opposite sides are parallel. Around this rhombus, we have labeled five specific points. A, B, C, and D for each vertex, and E at the intersection of each diagonal. A diagonal is just a line inside of this shape, which connects two points which are not usually connected, like A or C. So, from here, we have AC, which is the first diagonal, let it be equal to 4x, and BD is equal to 3x. So, now we want to figure out what is the length of uh, one of the vertexes to the middle point, E. So that would be equal to half, half of the entire diagonal. So this would be 2x and 1.5x, respectively, for EA and ED. Now, because all the sides are congruent and parallel, that means the two diagonals are perpendicular to each other, allowing us to use Pythagorean theorem to figure out the length of one of the sides. So we have EA squared plus ED squared is equal to AD squared. And substituting the values, we have 2x squared plus 1.5x squared is equal to AD squared, which means AD is equal to 6.25x squared, no, the square root of 6.25x squared, which is equal to 2.5x. Now the entire perimeter is just the force one of the sides multiplied by 4, so 2.5x multiplied by 4, 10x. So now we have a ratio between the, one of the diagonals and the perimeter. So for the first one, we have 4x is equal to 6, which means that, say, AC is equal to 6. That means x would be equal to 1.5, and the perimeter would be 15. And if 
bd, or 3x, was equal to 6, then x would be equal to 2, in which the perimeter would be 20. And if we go back to this, 20 is not one of the answers, but 15 is. Therefore, the answer is D.